Jesus poured water into the wash basin and began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had wrapped about around himself. The Gospel according to St. John chapter 13, verse 5. The Lord Jesus loves his people so much that every day he does for them much that is analogous to washing their filthy feet. Their poorest actions he accepts, their deepest sorrow he feels, their slenderest wish he hears, and their every transgression he forgives. He is still their servant as well as their friend and master. He not only performs majestic deeds for them, such as wearing the mitre on his brow and the precious jewels glittering on his breastplate, standing up to plead for them, but humbly, patiently, he goes about among the people with the basin and the towel. He does this when he puts away from us day by day our constant infirmities and sins. Last night, when you bowed the knee, you mournfully confessed that much of your conduct was not worthy of your Christian profession. And even tonight, no doubt you are mourning afresh that you have fallen again into the self-same folly and sin from which special grace delivered you from long ago and even yesterday. And yet, Jesus will have still great patience with you. He will hear your confession of sin. He will say, I will be clean. He will again apply the blood of sprinkling and speak peace to your conscience, removing and purifying every stain. It is a great act of eternal love when Christ once and for all absolves the sinner and puts him into the family of God. But what condescending patience there is when the Saviour, with much long-suffering, bears the continual folly of his wayward disciple, day by day, hour by hour, washing away the multiplied wickedness of his erring but yet beloved child. To dry up a flood of rebellion is something marvellous, but to endure the constant dropping of repeated offences, to bear with a perpetual trying of patience, this is truly divine. While we find comfort and peace in our Lord's daily cleansing, its legitimate influence upon us will be to increase our watchfulness and to quicken our desire for holiness. Is it not so? Amen.